every man, praise God. They got that flirt this thing. I said, oh, lady, I laid out the bitch on this thing. <laughs> And I just thank God, amen. I just want to, we're going to turn over to Genesis, the 19th chapter. We're going to talk about verse 30. Amen. We're going to stay there for a little while, amen. Then I'm going to show you something. We went through the episode to talk that they failed to dread. And I want you to realize you can be in such fear that you are afraid to dwell in some places that God tells you to dwell in. Mm -hmm. Sometimes God will tell you some things and fear will grip you, Mother Thompson. Amen. And it will cause you to dwell somewhere else. Yeah. And today we're going to see how God spoke to Lot. Lot left the city. You remember he grew up a little bit. We're going to show you something. Then Lot turned around and said, put me over here. But when he got there, he brought you to go to the mountain after God had told him the first time to go there. And I want you to see, sometimes when God tells us something the first time, we don't take heed to it. And then we open the door for the gate of the enemy to come in to what? Steal, kill, and destroy. Because God already knows what the enemy is going to do. So sometimes God don't want him to what? Come and take from you. But when you don't, what, be aware of the word of God, then he has to allow you to learn a lesson. So he allowed the enemy to come in and start messing with you. It's not to harm you, but it comes to bugger you so you can be a alert. Amen. Amen. So then this way I want y'all to see today about lot of the God. I said, he said one thing, then lot mine said another. Amen. But you're going to see something. Kind of, I was studying it, kind of, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. But one time he said then, now he said he ought to be. I want y'all to see this, how we can be so confused in what we're asking God for mm -hmm. because we thinking it's going this way and he'll turn around and do the opposite of what you done say. <laughs> is that yeah, is that making sense? Mm -hmm. You may have said, Lord, I need I need you to save my children. Mm -hmm. Save them, Lord. Mm -hmm. And he said, Yeah, I'm gonna save them. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he started doing it the opposite way to what you ask. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sometimes when you add something, it put pressure on you. Amen. That's true. Amen. And at the end, when you finally wake up, mm -hmm. your children say, but you say, God, what did I have to go through for them to get saved? Amen. <laughs> that's true. So it's a process. We a lot of people haven't gotten what they should get, and they done prayed to God, and it's not happening the way that it's supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. They get upset. Mm -hmm. And then they start running away. Yeah. Yeah. They want to face reality with them who? Yeah. So you're going to see Lot in this area. I want y'all to see something. I'm learning something. Lord, show me something. How people face. They will look at you. You can talk to them all day and then sit there and take all what you say. Mm -hmm. But their mind is already made up what they're going to do. Gonna do. Right. Then when they get what they're going to get, then what they do? They turn around and go what they plan. Come on, does that make any sense? Mm -hmm. Amen. So I want y'all to see today about Lot. Amen. How Lot feared to dread. Amen. God done told him where to dread it, but he feared it. Then he turned around and told him to put him somewhere else. Then he had turned around. My God, something ended up worse than what he was already. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right. Genesis 19, verse 30. And Lot went up out of Zor and dwelt in the mountain. Now, what did Lot tell God first? He didn't want to go to them. But now he went out of the city, that city. And went drilled in the mountain. Mm -hmm. Now, if he had a drill that the first time, Lynn, he wouldn't have had this problem with his daughters. Mm -hmm. uh, amen. Come on. That's true. Come on. But because it was already in set, I mean, I'm going to show you it back over here. It was already set. God had already set it up in order so the enemy couldn't come into. 
to the order where he had told him first to dress. Because he went into a that city he went into was wicked. Mm -hmm. It was wicked too. So sometimes you can go into a wicked place and bring out you can bring out a demonic spirit. Amen. Mm. Amen. We know that the mindset that they had Lot <laughs> thought one way and then when God did what he said then he turned around and he wanted to drill in the mountain. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. My God, amen. Sure. And his two daughters with him, for he feared to dwell in Zohar. And he dwelt in a cave, he and his two daughters. Now see him. You see what I'm saying? How he said, I want you to read that again, the last part. And here's who? And his two daughters with him, for he feared to dwell in Zor, and he dwelt in a cave, he and his two daughters. Now, a double-minded man, I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna get to that scripture. A double, he double what? He double-minded. We as believers are what? Christian people are double-minded. You see? I'm going, to, I'm going to show you. We in uh, Genesis 19, verse 30. See, he began to be double-minded. But see, and this is what I want you to see. When you become like this, Lot doesn't open the gate. Fear sets in. That opened up. Okay. Door. He opened the gate when he feared to dwell there. Although he didn't ask to go there, but he feared to dwell there. So what he did, he opened a gate for the enemy. Mm -hmm. So you need to be careful about what you fear. If you fear, you still don't stop moving in your fear. Because when you don't move in, that means you open the gate that the flesh would cause you to err from what God told you to go. Amen. Come on. If he told you to go to New York and somebody come by, oh, I'm scared to go to New York. But if you don't go ahead and go anyway, then you're going to bring <laughs> other things up on you that God trying to bring you what? Out of Amen. That's right. Come on. He's trying to bring you out of it before it even come up on you. My God. I'm going to make a sin. <laughs> so don't be fearful to dwell in a place where he tells you to dwell. Amen. I'm going to show you so. I, <laughs> all right. I want you to say that. I want you to go in the verse 17. I'm going to he repeat. This is his double mind. All right, go to verse Genesis, say Genesis 19, go to verse back to 17 and 19. Amen. Come on. And it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad that he said, Escape for thy life. Look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. So the angel was telling him what to do. Hold a minute. I'm going to show you something. He told them to escape from it. Mm -hmm. Told them where to go. Mm -hmm. Sometimes God can tell you to do something. Mm -hmm. That's why he said don't add to it, don't take from it. Mm -hmm. What we do is, me, I don't know about nobody else. Mm -hmm. You can see something by the person. God let you see it. Mm -hmm. And you know that person ain't what they should be, but you say, well, I'm going to yeah. help them. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's true. I'm going to, I think if I help I'm going to look at y'all what God done showed me <laughs> and see if I see some good. Mm -hmm. Come on. That's true. Come on. Uh, and you ain't even in y'all in here like that. How you have it? How you have it? How you have it? How you have it? How 
we get in a place that when God says it is what it is, it is that. Amen. So we got to get out of flesh and stop overriding the spirit. Come on, hey, just look at it. The angel direct the character of life told him, escape from this is for your life. So Lot lost a lot because he didn't follow what God told him. Oh my God. Leah lost stuff that's going to hurt me. Because I didn't follow what Lord told me to do. Thank you, Prison. <laughs> you laid it on me strong. <laughs> and see, he told him, my God, look not behind me, not stay there in all the plains, except to the except to the mind, let thou be what? Consumed. Okay, the mountain. I won't put it like that. You think about Job. You remember when Satan told Job, told God, said, you got hedges around me. He said, but if you move them hedges, he's going to curse you. You think if Lot had went on into the mountain, like God had told him, the hedges of protection was in that mountain. Yeah. Just think. Mm -hmm. Don't y'all think that it was already set up. God had set it up in the mountain so he could protect him from all what he's been to destroy. Mm -hmm. He said, I would take care of my own. So he was telling, I'm take, I'm gonna take care of you. So when I begin to destroy all this around you, it ain't coming to the mountain because I sit you in the center of this mountain. You and your daughters. Oh my God. Think about it. So the anointing of God is your mountain. Come on. He's saying, let me sit you in the center of me so you will be what? Covered, protected. No man can come into this, this place of me because nobody can harm you. Think about this. And you can't come behind the veil. Mm -hmm. yes. See, the enemy can't come behind the veil. So the veil now in the mountain is God's word. That's your mountain. That's why you got to put so much word in your heart. So, oh God. So when the enemy come after you, if he do discard you all, you still stay focused. <laughs> Going where he told you to go. Come on. We lose focus because we get off course. He told you that. Go on at the last house. Ain't gonna bother you over here. Now you go on over there. No, I'm gonna go to Michelle's house, but he didn't tell me to go. Michelle's house. Told you go to who house? Last house. Come on, y'all. Y'all got to see what I'm trying to tell you at. We can't let ourselves get in a position to be so fearful that we lose the focus where God trying to care. Lot lost the focus. And when he did get on focus, he done opened the gate. Because I didn't deal with it the first time, Michelle. So what I did, the gate got what? Wow. <laughs> wow. And Lord, the more I don't pay attention to the gate, it gets to the place that it ended up what? Destroyed.
destroy. I hope I'm making sense. Now look, let go look at verse 18. And Lot said unto them, Oh, not so, my Lord. So now, do what we do. Come on. Not so, my Lord. We said it. We don't say it out of our mouth like it was said here, but our action said, No, not so, Lord. I was talking to a young lady yesterday, and she told God told her to stop doing something. She told God that she liked what she was doing, but she come on now, you can't have who your cake, ice cream, me. Too much ice cream makes you sick. Too much cake hype you. So we are, so it don't what? It don't mix. So we saying it to lock lock say it in our physical body. Cause I'm fearful not what? Going on through it. We in some I don't know about nobody else. I'm in some situations. I need God to bring me out. So I got to follow the way the Spirit of God telling me to do it. It's not in looking at how I feel about you. Come on now, come on. I don't care how they feel about you. They don't feel about you like they you feel about them. So you got to know the difference that you are dealing not with the person. You're dealing with a spirit. When a spirit takes over a person's mind, they hold And 
then you done met God and let that spirit that they working in look like it's so kind, that thief, and you turn around and hang your nah, nah, you ain't hang yourself. You hang your favor. Oh my Lord. God, I gotta get y'all and see. You hang your favor over to the enemy. Mm. Here, take my. I'm gonna let you use. See the. Did I get ready? Let me break it. Y'all think y'all got this yet? I think y'all caught this. I don't know if I don't know. It seems like somebody. You can have such favor with God. Mm. And you think all my friends and my cousin, they, they all right. And all of a sudden, you say, I, 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 I'm going to help. This me. This is me. Me. This is your favor. God, they gave you. And you all of a sudden said, and that, I told you he laying down low. No. The <laughs> demon down low. So you are, you ain't paying no attention to the demon. You just go, I don't like to feel, oh, he, he's a chain. No. They so nice. Uh, and God, they gave you but Here you go. I'm going to let you have it with me. No. Oh, you said you said it right. Hey, 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 we hey. should be saying what? No. Say it, prison. No. No. Thank you, Jesus. We hang the favor over to the enemy. In your own house. Thank you, Jesus. I think y'all thinking now. I think y'all got that. I got it now. Everybody don't think like you. Everybody don't think like you. You need to do a transformation <laughs> in the raising. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We were surprised at the, what Sister Hannah not said about herself. Mm -hmm. You look at her, where she is, you would have never thought she tried to commit suicide. Mm -hmm. She didn't look suicide. Mm -hmm. Come on. So you need to look deep. Thank you, Holy God. He's the Holy God said. You know how the credit people check your credit before they let your ass up? Yeah. Come on, doctor. Yeah, and the Holy God they told me, you need to check your, your creditor. I ain't going to say credit. I mean creditor. Yeah. Woo. You need to check your creditors. If you look at the right one, you need to get on the computer. <laughs> you need to go ask some questions. <laughs> get a, I, I just want to verify some things. Mm -hmm. True. You might find something that got some crazy folks in there. <laughs> and you got to deal with that crazy spirit. Amen. Come on, y'all. We don't change stuff. No, I'm ready, man. I don't know about it. I ain't shame. I'm like, I'm going to tell on myself. I don't check stuff. And then the two later, I find out I got a food. Amen. 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 Now, y'all hate to call me. It's my food. It's my food. Amen. It is what it is. So I got to learn if I'm going to still want it. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I hope I'm helping somebody. I know it's helping me. Amen. If ain't nobody getting preached to, I'm preaching to myself. Amen. 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 Oh, my God. That's why I ain't got many men. Because I tell the truth. Amen. <laughs> People don't want to receive the truth. It's a strange that the world is thinking. Like Lot. Lot was a man. 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 Lot was a
lost spirit. Mother tells the people rather believe a lie than the truth. We rather be bound with lies of the prince of this world than to be set free. People can have it good, they're so bound with demons, they can't see the good that God is doing for them. And, and they say, God ain't doing that for them. And God said, that, that demon that took all over your head, and then when he gets you out of the then you, you say, oh, well, what would God do? Mm -hmm. Come on. That's true. That's true. I want y'all to see. So don't fear the dread the way God is telling you. If he said turn it loose, let it go. If he said hold to it and suffer you to learn, he's going to do it. It depends on how he wants you to go through it. But don't sit up and hold something that it ends up killing you. Mm -hmm. Killing you all the time don't mean killing you uh, physically, but it can kill you mentally. Spiritual. When it start taking your joy, mm -hmm. it's killing you. Mm -hmm. It's taking life from you. And all you can do is believe the word. Mm -hmm. And let the Lord anoint you to be able to stand. I'm, I'm, I'm showing you both ways. But don't be filled to dread what God tells you to do. If God says stand still, Stand still. But if he tell you, I want you to go to this place, you go there. And this is what I want you to see. My God. Okay, come on with your instead. And thou hast magnified thy mercy, which thou hast showed unto me in saving my life. Okay, he sees the angels and gave him grace. And I cannot escape to the mountain. Leave some evil, take me, and I die. Now, I think, I, thank you, Holy Ghost. We can't tell them to get between the spirit and, and the um, evil spirit. Come on. Yeah. You know why we can't? <laughs> you know what? You know what? Do y'all know what? You know what? Because you don't read your word. Amen. <laughs> You don't read the word enough to know the difference between even good. Mm. He said, try spirit by the spirit. Spirit by the spirit. Mm -hmm. We don't do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Ooh, I'm so glad y'all the spirit. No, <laughs> we don't try. Mm -hmm. We give him the benefit. Mm -hmm. I die. Mm -hmm. And you ever let me tell you, have you ever been talking to somebody? And you around. You and they'll say something. It hit your spirit. And you hold you got it. Then what you do? You say. <laughs> <laughs> you let it. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tom, I need to say that you won't come up here. <laughs> <Amen. laughs> we do this. <laughs> and it hits your spirit so hard that sometimes I'm going to knock you down. Mm -hmm. You say, well. Mm -hmm. He just don't know no better. But he knows better. Amen. 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 I never get mama used to tell us a sober, a drunk man got a sober mind. Right? He can't talk to you when he's drunk or when he's sober. True. <laughs> but when we all press the Lord and then when that stuff to help him lose it, you see it all. Yeah. But we say, oh, he's just drunk. No. Come on, we're speaking. He's speaking how he feels. In the heart of my what? That's the word. It's us accepting what's been said. Mm -hmm. We're afraid to dread. <laughs> I'm afraid to get something started. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look old. Mm -hmm. I looked over one time. So what I did, I got that much of a crack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and more I 
Getting the, so wide to the point they overtake you. Hey, hey, yes, See, that's what happened to Lot. It hey, overtook hey, him. Because hey, I was trying to be high in the world, I was going to explain it, but the Holy Ghost doing it. Amen. It ended up overtaking him. Amen. Come on. I'm telling you, stuff overtaking me. Amen. Amen. That's why I thank God for that book. I got Amen. that book holding me. And I'm just a friend and talking to God. God that in life is so with it. <laughs> to the point now I've talked to a guy today. I told him I'm tired of sitting folks. That's right. I'm tired of sitting folks taking stuff of me, overriding me, taking stuff of me. I say I'm tired. Amen. Amen. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna be conscious of it. <laughs> oh, y'all didn't get that, man. I'll be contradicting. Mm. I'm going to be a gangster. Contradicting. <laughs> All right. Y'all ain't going to make it sense? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yep. <laughs> they don't know how to receive Jesus in a loving way. I'm going to be contradicting. City gangster. <laughs> <laughs> they understand that. Yeah. Right. They made me that way. <laughs> so I'm about to have a how many in here now? <laughs> See, I want you to see. I went, children went in the cave the first time, but now nah, I went all the way over Brand Bronx, uh, <laughs> my road Cleveland. I went all the other places. Uh, all right, listen. That's what he said. Now, this is, I can't escape to the final unless something even take me. And I'll die. <laughs> Look at the excuse he said. Mm -hmm. Man. <laughs> Don't we come up with some excuses? Yeah. yeah. A whole lot of them. I look at sometimes Steve and he had these women that take these dances. And Steve gave him two doors to go, one this way and one that way. And then Steve said, now you got a charge with dough you want to go through. And then Wama said, just because he passed the test on one thing, although he didn't pass the other three, but he passed one, I just love mm -mm. And she went right on to that door. <laughs> she went to the door and this man be the eyes I want, I, I want. What I'm trying to say is we make wrong choices. Amen. If it's not a choice that's going to add to you, and you ain't willing to wait to it change, and it adds to destroying you, I'm not telling you to leave that now. I hope y'all make it sense. If this is what you choose to do, you got to go to a consequence of getting the change. But you got to know what the... Excuse me, you got to use this to bring the what? Change. It ain't you flapping your lips <laughs> and running your mouth with your foot. It ain't going to do it. Nope. You got to fight with this word. You got to get the whole arm of God on. You got to know what to speak the right type of word so you can defeat that spirit. You ain't fighting the person. You fight a spirit. How about making you think? Yes, man. Oh, my God. Here the whole girl said, how bad do you want <laughs> So you got to become that, that gangster. <laughs> your sickness, is sick and your vibe, you got to get in that sickness. And now, when that, you, that you look and say, don't look over that demon. Is that a lie? He don't 
talking about. They, oh, I almost said the wrong thing. I'm kind of more careful. <laughs> you know that brother lying. He's a liar. If he's the ordinary brother, he's the ordinary person. Remember what they are. That's a demon in you, them to make you get off focus. We gonna recognize. Yeah, who got it? I almost said something. Say, the Holy Ghost. See, I did the Holy Ghost in here. Hallelujah. I forgot I had video and TV. Speak your mind. Speak your mind. God is telling us, I want you to walk in truth. True when true with stand when a lie won't. That's why you go through so much because you stand for the truth. You can't go nowhere else and give what y'all did. Let somebody start talking to you. You get me? Cause truth has got into your spirit, man. So they can't come with you, sir, but you don't you know you're not using the truth that, that's inside of you. Just like Lot, Lot knew the truth. But he wants to escape from the truth. You just what you are, the truth in you. And it makes you sick when you begin to go the other way trying to help somebody else and they won't help you, can yeah. That's right. Till they see themselves, they just what they are. You serve. God says you got two masters. He said you can't serve two of them. You either serve him or the devil. Now, two. Yeah. Y'all see that? See how the lot confused and all mixed up? Yeah. Amen. All right. Praise God. Let's go over him to Matthew 14. And thirty. And I got. I got just that one verse, fourteen and thirty. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, he cried, saying, "Lord, save me!" Okay, this is talking about when they on the ship. And the disciples, when Peter started hollering, Lord, told him to come. He saw all what was going on. He began to sing. Let me see why, why they say, I'm going to use this and I'm going to pattern this off to you. <coughs> but when he saw the wind, I'm going to put it. When Sarah saw the issue, Sarah was a... You see the issues, yes, yes, but you are a You say you ain't, but you are afraid. Sarah saw the issue, and Sarah began to what? Say. You begin to sing. Sometimes you sing and some folks sing fast and you catch on to who I'm. It went fast. But some, the enemy sometimes don't let you sing fast. Oh. Sometimes they just let you slowly sing. <laughs> That you don't pay up attention. That you thank you. Okay, I hear you. Especially it comes to your finances. And you remember, you get paid. You can save thirty five dollars out your check. Really? And you, you, ooh, I got to stick back. Then two weeks later, you get another check. As far as that, 
Oh, I'll well, send $5. You say, oh, I, I can get Ken Saber. That's fine this week. Solely. See you down or nothing. <laughs> You're sinking. Mm -hmm. Till you get away and you start praying. Lord, I need some finances. <laughs> Come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because the enemy is slow. Mm -hmm. Little fox. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eat from your vine. Mm -hmm. And we don't know how to tell nobody. What they word prison? You know. What they you know? What they now? Now. <laughs> We don't know how to tell people. No. Hey, you ain't nobody today, is up. <laughs> it's not making y'all change y'all mind. I want y'all to see. It's a way of giving. When you study giving to the same one, yeah. and they never gonna, yeah. it's time to tell them. No. no. <laughs> so we begin to sing and then we start what? crying oh, no. <laughs> saying Lord save me <laughs> why do we have to wait to get in the position to get in there and the Lord already Come. Come. He didn't have no more say. Come. Come. Peter messed around <laughs> and started looking around. Mm -hmm. He took our eyes off the one that told us to come. Bro. I took my eyes off the one told me to. Y'all see that? Let do some deep thinking. I'm getting fried, fried like this. <laughs> but that's what God wants you to think. We are not using no the word. The word or not? Come on, now. I be honest. We do. We do not use God's word enough to show. Where we at, how to fight the enemy, how to handle the enemy, we know just enough. John 3 16. <laughs> we know that. We got that taught in Sunday school. We know that real well, camera. I remember now I closed my eyes. This little boy was saying this little rhyme just that we were sitting on the floor. And Bible said they teaching it to children over there today, and they need grown folk. <laughs> 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 Right. We need to stop sucking on milk and begin to say, I, me. Thank you, Holy Ghost. All right. If a person, A, I'll say, I'm 60 years old, are you me? I'm 60 years old. As I grow up, if I did change, that spirit that stayed dumbing in me, it grow too. <laughs> me standing there all the way, it all would be all back. <laughs> Cause I'm feeding it. But when I put the word on it, I'm killing it. Right. But if I don't know how to take this, <laughs> my enemy out, then all he doing what? He beat me. Yeah. The saints are so defeated till they thinking they are right, God. All they think is a speaking in the tongue. How shall God do it again? It ain't. <laughs> The enemy danced him. <laughs> he got a job too. Because we need to know how to bleed this word. No matter how the flesh feels, you keep moving toward God. 
Don't allow fear open that door that the enemy come in to begin to uh, devour you. Lena, I'm, ooh, I'm so scared to go over there to that VA, but you told me some jobs over there, but I'm, what I did, I, I'm too scared to go over there to ask. He said, you have not because you what? Ask not. Amen. Well, I did. I lost fear to get in my way from going to ask my job. Probably was serious. She was my daughter to get me in there. Amen. Oh, I hope I made it. Yeah, he did. Amen. Amen. If Lord had a did what he spoke and did the first time, he wouldn't end up losing his wife. His children went, his two girls went in there having incest with him to get him drunk to have babies. Mm -hmm. See where the mind turning? Mm -hmm. We think like the world. He said you in the world, but you not all the world. You sitting up here hearing the word of God, and you saying you the born again, because you can't use worldly system to fight your battle. That's mm -hmm. right. Amen. You can't do it. I don't care who you, what you are. If you believe in Jesus Christ, you got to fight it His way. Amen. 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 Come on, y'all. He would have never lost. Lot, if you really look like Annie, you look at it real close. Lot might have came out the city. Physical. Mental and spirit, he was still in Solomon. Mm -hmm. He yet he got he got destroyed too. Mm -hmm. What you mean she got he she he got destroyed because he didn't change his mental attitude. Mm -hmm. You got to change this. Mm -hmm. People mistreat you because they never change this. So if a person refused to change this, you by well leave them up. Come on. <laughs> My daughter said that and she older than I am. Amen. <laughs> yes. Amen. The Bible said he called them a fool. They yeah. ignorant of God's way. Yes. Did God change them? <coughs> leave them up alone. alone. I say quit him. I say if you want to stay with it, leave it alone. If that ain't, if it's taking you now, you better be like that long way longer you won't be going here. <laughs> Let's go to James 1 and 8. We're going to talk about this devil man. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So a double-minded man is, he said he might, he is unstable in all his ways. No? We'll break that down. A double minded man is. He is. What he is. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen people go up? And they were in the sixth. And they still wearing what? Six to go. They are still in the six. They are unstable. Oh my God. Hmm. In what? Oh. 
Ah, uh, he said in the word, you know them by their what? Fruit. So if their fruits are on, if their fruits are unstable, they double. Man. Put your, put your, the Holy Ghost thing you care about. I'm going to have to be doing And you, you try to tell somebody that, tell somebody, and you ever been talking to somebody, you tell them, they ask you something, you try to tell them the right way. And seem like they look at you like they don't understand what you're saying. They understand. <laughs> Their mind is already made up that they're going to do what they want to anyway. So they double mind. I just, I just want you to say it so I can get you all my back. But I still, I'm going to do what I want to do. So I'm double mind. The Lord told me not to drink that can of beer today. So when I get out there, well, I you you let. I get around you let. I'm double minded. I done told the Lord, I ain't drinking nothing today. <laughs> they all say, here I go, I'm let. Instead of me telling that I don't want that beer because I'm trying to change my way, I'm, I'm just double. I'm going to take the beer. Oh, yeah, I'll take one less. So what I am? I'm stable and I'm double money. Man, you got to say what you're going to say and mean what you say. Lot was double man. He told the Lord, I won't go to the, to the mountain because I die. Lord let him go to the city. Then he turned around. He didn't drown there because what? He was fearful. So he was double mind. He gave up the same for unsafe. Mm. We do that. Yep. So I know I can I can do better if I was to hang around you. We hang we still try to hang around folk that drink. When we should hang around folk that don't drink. That's right. We should hang around folk that don't cuss. But we hang around folk that what? Cuss. So you still being what? Double minded. So Lot was double minded. He brought him, God was trying to tell him, I'm saving your life. He was saving him spiritual and natural. Folk get stuff from you when, they, when you're drunk. So Lot was a drunk. <laughs> he was a drunk. Yeah. They knew he was hurt. People take him. Y'all mad at me now. I know. <laughs> I'm out of here with two of my big People know how to work on you. The enemy know your weakness. They are, what did they do? They, they, the, the, one sister got him drunk. She went to bed with She said, well, can I get him some liquor? Mm -hmm. He get drunk. He don't know where he's looking at. He don't know who did you, sister. He just want, I <laughs> he just want this moment. That's all. Just at night, put another sin on you, you know. He don't know who he's looking at. Okay. He's drunk enough. All he wants to just have what he wants. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Ooh, I'm about to cry. I'm telling you the truth. I'm about to cry. Because I'm hoping I'm making sin. We got to choose the way that God is telling us people will know how to get you all focused. They know how to do something to get you on their side. If you like a cake, they'll cook you so many cakes. Next thing you know, you 30 pound baby. When you know you all got to eat that, that's a good cake. 
pay me. You stay to eat. Come on. Come on, please. Oh, oh my Lord, I'm telling you. Come on. They make you become double-minded. You got to stay and say, I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we do like this. Should yeah. Should I go over there? Why should I not? It sure look good over there. Maybe I just try a little bit. I ain't gonna stay long. I ain't gonna stay long. But you stayed long enough to get double mine. I'll give you a bit of I'll give you some. I get one loophole. I'm just going to eat one bowl. My double mind. Oh, I can make get me another bowl. Yeah. What I did, I added more to myself than I should have. Double mind. If you say no, it's no. If it's yes, it's yes. So Lot lost more. He said he was saving Lot's family. He was saving Lot's life. If he ever followed what the angel told him to do. Instead of wanting to go somewhere and then go back to the mountain. That's what we do. Thank God for repenting. Amen. God, I thank God for Jesus. Because he know I'm going to go over there that coat over there. For a couple of days. <laughs> Amen. He knew it. That's why Jesus took care of everything. So we got a way of repentance. Become godly sorry. Jesus stood in the gap. At the time, Lot didn't even have nobody stand in the gap for them. But we got a, a God that's standing in the gap for us that keep enough to get us back in line and order. But people don't see Jesus because he are the truth. That's why the body, church like this, you don't get folks in church like this. Because they don't want the truth. They don't want to change. Mm -hmm. Then some people that sitting up in here don't want to change, but they see it. But their mind, like I said, double-minded man. It's unstable. And when you know you heard the truth, but you refuse to what? Do the truth. That's what Lot did. He heard what the angel told him. But after he, he said, I don't want to die in the cage. <laughs> he wasn't going to die. If God put you in a position somewhere, don't you know he knows that he got you? Amen. Psalm 91 said, He that dreaded in the secret place shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Don't you know God got you if he tell you to go up under the shadow? The mountain was his shadow. It was his protection. It was the, the keeping tank to God got to doing what he need to do. Say you should be saying that word about stuff. He said, I will supply your needs. Amen. I'll take care of you. But we more we mom than ever, folks. Mm -hmm. Come on. Because we don't believe the word. We don't read the word. We don't read the word enough to get in our heart. Mm -hmm. See, when you, your flesh begin to talk to you, and this is not that, y'all listen close to me, I'm going to tell you something. And if you pay attention to what I'm saying, instead of you laying there, letting that drill in your head, you need to get up. Out of your bed or whatever you're doing, go get your Bible and begin to read the Word so the Word can kill that spirit that's working in your faith. But long as you sit up there and go get our potato chips. Right. What is this? He didn't kill them. He found it. Yeah. No, I, I need to calm my nerves. I go get me a can of beer. I'll enjoy a six pack. I'm still raising hell. You know what I mean? <laughs> Come on now. What kill? The word on the thing that kill. The word. So I become not double minded. So when stuff started, I learned. Since I, I go, when I first started, I jump about that.
that bed. <laughs> I get that scriptures. I go to read it. I go to read it. And then my, my inner heart, the heart, get calm and peaceful. And then my eye gets sleep. And then I say, okay, Lord, I'm going to lay down. I go to sleep. That's how you fight. Mm -hmm. Amen. You don't fight a demon arguing with him. No. You don't fight a demon being nervous and shaking. You fight him when he get in there and start messing with your heart. He looking at the oh, I got the back over here. Mm -hmm. Jesus standing up, the little angel standing up, he's gonna whoop me. <laughs> you come to torment me for my time. It's not making sense. Amen. Amen. So we have stopped getting mad with with the body of Christ. If Jesus left you the weapon, if you gonna survive, and you don't read the one chapter, day, sometimes I don't get to three chapters, and I can relax. Mm -hmm. Yeah, weapon. I be so calm. And I walked as a proud and big just like that. Boy, I'm telling you, God gave me a living that's so fried. Amen. I'm telling you, too, it was amazing. And I thought children was, <laughs> it was getting out of hand. It was chilling out of hand today. And we looked at the clock, it was 3 o'clock. I was in the dollar store talking about Jesus. And this girl was talking about she was a cat. And she thought Jesus didn't care nothing about it. She thought he was being arrogant because he was talking about righteousness. Come on, y'all. I said, no, baby, you the righteous of him. That's right, amen. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm telling you. And this girl was looking so down. And then we got up and went to see this girl at the hospital. And I laughed so. And I had the folks in the hospital. And they were just shaking my hand. And they told us to. I thought they were telling us. He said, wave your hand. And I thought they were talking about wave your hand where we were standing, but it was on the wall. And me and Lynn was out there in the center, and I told him that I was just jumping up, waving my hands out the door was all open, you know. And <laughs> I was just waving. I said, then the, the, the woman came, she said, and the Lord just spoke, the woman came, the Lord had been looking. I said, oh, Lynn, this is what we supposed to do. I did like that. And the fact that I was laughing so to everybody wondered what I was laughing for. They all come right. I said, girl, they had the body cam camera. We had $10,000. <laughs> they walked across. I hit her. I mean, I was just laughing. Like, it was such a joy of the anointing of freedom of God was in me that everybody wanted to touch me. Yeah. They wanted to change things. The word, and let them, I said, let you was a witness to it. <laughs> I have my liberty. Amen. Come. Amen. Come on, y'all. will be still together to God called them home. Come on now. I, I, I just want y'all to get that. Is that making sense? Mm -hmm. Don't be fearful to dread. Mm -hmm. If he tell you to dread, play, you dread. If folks tell you that I try to talk to you from coming out being on the ceremony, you better stay here. Amen. <laughs> you better not be scared not to dread. Because he wouldn't have put you here for safety so you'd be able to grab others. Amen. You got the purpose. 
I'm saying today, don't let fear get in a place that you're afraid to dream. Amen. Don't be afraid to try by the Spirit. If your spirit don't agree with something, don't agree with it. Amen. 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 I don't care who it is. Mm -hmm. Don't agree with it. You ain't got to argue with it. Right. Just don't agree with it. Release it to the Lord. Because He says, Vengeance is mine. Wherever right, yeah. I kill that demon. Amen. 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 Wherever right, I kill that demon. Come on, y'all. Amen. If Lord had let the angels do the job that they so to do, He went on in that cave. The fear of death wouldn't have came upon him. Because he was in his flesh. Come on. So we need to learn how, like I said, this is the only way you're going to kill it. It's through the world. Come on. I, I value you. Spend time with you. If you don't do nothing else, get in here and read it. If you the Spirit of God hit you with a, a script and all of a sudden stop you mm -hmm. when you read, mm -hmm. get another book and run the reference. If you got your Bible, Bible got some uh, scriptures in, run the reference up. Mm -hmm. It's going to tell you. I'm going to show you. I want you to go to uh, Hebrew 12. I'm going to show you something. Hi. Lord showed me something else too. Oh my God. I'm going to let y'all go on. The whole world, I'm going to turn that loose here. And let y'all see something. And it just blow my mind too. And I'm going to. Okay. By the arm. Um, 